Yo, I'm the Dark Lord, ruler of them dark worlds. Elohim, motherfucker, I'll be spitting fire. I'm about to go in, man. I want to welcome you back to 13 Cosmic Law Astrology for some more information and in dark codes. I'm finna drop some real science on you right now. I got a gift for you. You know what I'm saying? I've been writing my, my notes down, uh, doing my research on the quickening and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm finna read off the paper, write the, write the vision down and make it plain. You know what I'm saying? But then I'm finna get into the flow of this shit and it's all gonna make sense. All right? So I entitled this lecture... What do I entitle this lecture? What's the name of this lecture? Okay, I entitled this lecture um, the Ethernet, Ether, the Ethernet, the power of phi telepathic communication. The Ethernet and the power of phi telepathic communication. And I tell you all of the time, you looking at the smart movement, and the smart movement is what's dumbing your ass down. Smartphones, smart water, smart TVs, the smart technology shit, when you the greatest motherfucking technology of all times. So today we're going to go into this technology, and I'm going to break it down into simple ass motherfucking so that you can get a comprehension of this shit. Because it was a time when, you know, when we had sprint in real life down to the motherfucking the vine tree and pick some blackberries because we knew blackberries was a super fruit and and the, and the antox antioxidants antioxidants in the blackberry stimulated the mind and and gave us muscle memory and made our muscle memory rapid and our ability to not only uh uh uh, uh make to regurgitate information through our neocortex and limbics but to also process it real fast and to maintain that information that we regurgitated. So we knew that blackberries was a super fruit. And it was a time when we actually sprinted down to the motherfucking vine and plaque and picked the blackberries. Now, nature is being replaced with technology. You got motherfuckers sprinting down to the sprint phone to go and buy a back a blackberry cell phone. So 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 people ain't picking blackberries no more. Motherfuckers ain't even growing blackberry trees no more. That's rare. You know what I'm saying? So 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 nature is is being replaced with technology and now it's a it's a need and a demand for the get back to nature, for the detach, for the netter, for the Nephilim movement. All of this shit is is a need and demand for. It, it was a time when we picked apples off of the tree and ate apples. You know what I'm saying? Uh UC Davis did a research and and they determined they found the ingredient in apples called pectin that allows you to uh, maintain information. It enhances your memory. So back in the days when they say eat an apple, an apple a day, keep the doctor away. Now they're beginning to say that an apple a day will keep the doctor in place because research has, has proven that, that eating apples, healthy apples off the tree, you know what I'm saying, will actually enhance your memory and keep your memory in place. You see what I'm saying? And so, so it was a time when we picked apples off of the tree and then they replaced the apples with the Apple cell phone, with the with the iPhone technology, with the Apple technology, with the Apple computer, and and people are so distracted with the Apple shit, the Apple technology that they not even worried about their own human technology. You are the greatest technology. When your shit come online, they get scared and they sample your shit to to create their shit. You see what I'm saying? So it's a war nature versus technology and i'm telling you that you are the greatest technology of all motherfucking times and i'm finna go ahead and break this shit down into a science and give you a real life scenario of some shit that just recently happened to me you know what i'm saying and i'm gonna break this shit down to you how you are way better than every motherfucking technology that you see around you hands down yo and that's what this 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 type of programming is all about see this this type of programming and this level of, of consciousness you may not be ready for this level of consciousness or this or this type of programming you know what i'm saying um, but those who have been watching 13 Cosmic Law Astrology, y'all ready for this type of uh, this, this type of shit? Y'all 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 know you you with the, you with me on this? You know what I'm saying? So we can pass through the river on this and get to the other side. See, my whole thing is to you know what I'm saying? 
break on through to the other side? How can I get you to break on through to the other side? And so, you know, I, um, it's all about different thoughts, about different thoughts to stimulate different thoughts. And, and right now, this is this is to tell you that you are the greatest technology of all motherfucking times. So, you know, they trying to replace the Apple, the picking the Apple with the Apple cell phone and the Apple technology, Apple computer, Apple Mac computer and all of this little shit. They're replacing the, you know, um, it was a time when, you know, um, when, when motherfuckers used to play. I remember when we was coming up, we used to play football in the streets and shit. You know what I'm saying? They're replacing the, the playing the football in the streets because of that human interaction and because they knew that December 21st was going to come up come, and that this big ass portal of consciousness was going to open up. And I'm going to get into that too. I'm going to get into the science of all of this shit that I'm about to say. They knew that December 21st was going to, was, uh, December 21st, 2012 was going to hit, that a portal was going to open up, and that series was going to start hitting the planet Earth with all kind of energy, positive energy and organ energy. They knew that this shit, they knew that this shit was going to happen. So they already foreseen this shit and they was like, okay, well then let's, let us start creating shit. So they, 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 they emphasize the technology shit to get you away from the nature. So to replace the, the, the plan, because we used to get together, motherfucker, we didn't, if we didn't go to the park to play football, we'd get together in the middle of the streets and play some football. Remember that shit? We'd just play right there in the middle of the motherfucking streets. A car come, we'd let the motherfuckers go by, and we'd keep playing in the middle of the streets. Touch football, we'd take off our shirts, and that'd be the flag, flag football. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't shit. We did this on a regular basis, you know what I'm saying? And this was this this was the shit. This was the thing. You see what I'm saying? But they wanted to replace that humor inter interaction with an artificial interaction because they knew that if we continue to interact like that, that creates an a antenna of love. And with that much solar energy and atomic energy in one place, they couldn't handle that. Because our hair is antennas. This is our halos. Our hair is our strength and our and our link back to the nappy ass hair. The nap the, the, the nap hair is the ether nine. And they know that. You know what I'm saying? And then the 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 the, the, the game of football, which deals with all kind of sacred geometry, you know what I'm saying, and formations and and formations and, and and sacred geometry and shit, you know what I'm saying? And formations and when you when you do when you when you when you spin around and and you doing all kind of sacred geometry, they knew that. And then the game of football that brought us all together in unity was gonna create a weapon of an antenna of love that we get all kind of downloads, all kind of downloads from that. So they replaced what we was doing in nature, playing football in, the, in that human interaction with. The Madden football and technology. So now you see less of motherfuckers playing football in the streets and on the park. And you see, and you're beginning to see a lot of motherfuckers playing John Madden. The technology shit. So they trying to replace nature versus technology. And it's a war going on. That's why we keep saying, fuck that technology shit. You the greatest technology. And I'm finna explain it. In this lecture right here, I'm finna explain this technology. The name of this lecture right here is called the Ethernet. Not the internet, the ethernet, that unseen dark matter shit, you know what I'm saying? The ethernet, the power of phi telepathic communication. This is our technology right here, human technology and, and extra ultra technology and shit. We got, we the best technology shit going on, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's important for you to get this level of programming right here to turn your shit on so that you can be thinking about this and be mindful of this shit. All of the time, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, so, 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 so that's one of the things that that's why that they, they came out with the Madden football shit. Then what they did was, you know what I'm saying? I can go on and on, you know, um, they want you to be on Facebook so that you don't actually face a book. I'm told you I'm reading this book right here called Astral Projection for Beginners, Six Techniques for Traveling to Other Rooms by Dane McCoy. I'm reading this book. And another good ass book called What a Plant Knows. You know what I'm saying? I'm reading, I'm checking out this book. You know, I have other books too, but these are the books that I'm reading on right now. And I'm actually reading these books, even though I ask to project and I teach astral projection and I've been doing it for a number of years. It's one thing to actually, you still got to brush your shit up. Doctors are doctors, all right? They already got the credentials, but they have to continue to brush their shit up. So every two years, throughout the whole year, periodically, they, they study in, and every two years, they got to do a restudy. 
because things are always, technology is always changing. The technology of our human biology is always changing. And they got to be up on this shit. You see what I'm saying? So even teachers, once you get the license and the credentials to teach, don't mean that you got to stop learning. You got to continue to learn and brush up on your shit. Because things are always changing. And especially now that, that the technology is, is in the information. We're in the information age, the age of Aquarius. And it's a lot of technology. And, and so there's a demand for people are demanding. They want to know the truth. They want to know what's going on. They want to know. There's a demand for intelligence. There's a demand for information and the right kind of information, the right kind of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? There's a demand for this shit. And so, and so, you know, um, you can't just be a master in your mind and, and still not be willing to open up and, 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 and take the time to read books. I still read books. You got to value reading books because, you know. A lot of you are cheating because you're getting information that it took us a whole lifetime to acquire. You see what I'm saying? Through through trial and error, through experiencing bad experiences and shit, and through reading books and extensive studying and researching and, uh, and testing shit out and having to show and prove to see if it worked and tweaking it. And you getting it all in a 15 minute, 30 minute sound bit video and you're not taking the time to actually read the motherfucking book. You know what I'm saying? And develop the brain cells and the neurons and, and stimulate them, get them neurons going and firing off that that, that creates chemicals of, of, of eon, positive eons and negative neons that when they find each other, you know what I'm saying? See, it, you got to take the time to actually read books. That's a science that we can't get away from. You can't let technology with the nook books and the electric shit get you off of the actual black and white reading the motherfucking book and actually taking the time. It's one thing to Google search and you get it real fast. That's cool if you just want to cheat. But it's another thing to actually get the book and flip through the pages. The flipping through the pages is a lost art. You got to find it in the time that it takes. And your brain happen to fill in the pieces until you find that shit. And the whole quest for finding the information, flipping through several different books just to get that shit. When you get it, it's like, ah, oh, I got it. You see what I'm saying? So that's the shit that we can't get away from, yo. These books, you got to value these books. I got several different books around me and do several different videos on this shit. So they trying to re replace nature and, and human technology with their artificial shit that they study off of us. You know what I'm saying? We're the greatest technology of all times. And I'm going to get into that when I when I go in and give you the meat, when I give you, you know, the, 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 the core of this lecture. You know what I'm saying? So um, I want to say that. Um, um, so they're replacing, you know, they're trying to replace you facing the actual real book and taking the time to develop this with Facebook, a cyberspace neighborhood or a social community. You know what I'm saying? Where you can go and, and spend all your motherfucking time on Facebook. Look, I go on Facebook. When I go on Facebook, you can see that all of my um the videos I go in there, I don't, I don't spend, I don't like to spend too much time on Facebook. If I go to Facebook and it's only for one, for one objective, my only objective of being on Facebook is not to get followers and none of that. It's to only get those who are caught in that matrix. You know what I'm saying? And to and, to, and stimulate thought and get them into consciousness. Open up, spread the portal of consciousness to Facebook. But I'm not spending my time on Facebook. I go to Facebook. I'm on that shit for like ten minutes at the at the most. And I try to be at five minutes. Five minutes. I don't, need, I don't need more than five minutes a day on Facebook. I can go there, upload all kind of videos, and I already know what I'm finna say. I just I, I type up all kind of slick shit. When you go to my Facebook, you will see videos in succession, back to back, loaded up. About 10 videos at one time. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And then I and I might upload about 25 slick ass sands. And it don't take me nothing to come up with a slick ass sand. Something that is just a stimulated thought. You know what I'm saying? And then and then that's it. I'm off. I log off. I'm done. I don't need Facebook no more. You know what I'm saying? Unless I go back and I want to respond to a message or something. You know what I'm saying? And that's real quick. And that's every other motherfucking day. I'm 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 not a Facebook jerk. I'm not a Facebook nerd. I don't be on that shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a matrix. And my objective is to pull people out of that matrix. But even in the Bible, in the book of Revelations, it said that we was gonna be fighting this war. It said the battle of Medea. M-E-D-I-A, media. You know what I'm saying? We was going to be in this media kind of shit. So the whole thing is to get back to nature. So they replaced, you know, they want you to face Facebook and not actually face a real book. They want you to be, you know, um, they want you to, 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 to be in, you know, the MySpace separate, uh, 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 community where, you know, I'm from the old school, motherfucker. I'll meet your ass in real life. 
You know what I'm saying? I like to go to your space and, and I share my space with you if you cool. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't have to meet you through a MySpace or a Moco or none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gotta I ain't gotta do none of that shit if I I'm one of the motherfuckers that like to meet you in person and and, and consciously and, and get to know people. I'm I'm old school. Hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm I be spitting game to women every all everywhere I go, I be spitting game to women, sharpening up on my um on my flirting skills and shit, you know what I'm saying, I told somebody the other day, I stopped her, I said, listen, I just want to tell you that you supply a lot of beauty to this earth, you know that, she started smiling and shit, she was like, yo, that, that's like the deepest compliment I had in a long guy's time, I was like, for real, so we just got, got to talking and shit, you know, we shook hands, she told me her name and shit, you know what I'm saying, we sat down, I was already at the cafe and shit, she was like, you drink coffee, I was like, nah, I'll take a tea, she bought me some tea, we got to talking and shit, and then she was like, yo, you seem like you real conscious, I was like, you know, I actually teach, I have a school of thought, you know what I'm saying, and I actually teach and shit, and she was like, oh, yo, for real, and so we just got to talking and we got to knowing one another, I'm one of them people that'll meet your ass in real life, I don't gotta be on a social network and shit, that's for motherfuckers that want to hide behind the scenes and shit, right now I'm in this war and I'm trying to, I'm reaching those people who've been so distant from, from society and, and real life and they got caught up in the vortex of technology and they're getting away from self technology, that's why I come back to tell you, you need to get back to self technology, planting your feet in the ground, going down to the beach acrylining, you know what I'm saying, occupying the beach Acroline in the water according to your acroline thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Spending time in nature, hugging trees and shit, eating uh, fruits off of the tree. Not just going and, and getting the motherfucking fruit in the store that's, that's frozen and all of the UV rays is gone. You know what I'm saying? But actually picking the fruit off of the vine. Finding where they got lemon trees and apple trees and orange trees. Documenting that shit and that's the way. You just go and knock on the motherfucker's door. Yo, can I take some motherfucking oranges off of your tree? You know what I'm saying? Period. That's the way. You got to document your shit. When you find, found a grapefruit tree, I found the motherfucking lemon tree. I found the orange tree and the apple tree. That's all my produce right there. Off of the vine. And I just go travel and stack up on all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting ready to go and plant all kind of shit. When I go places, I ask them, yo, can I plant a garden in your backyard? That's the very first thing that I want to do. Is plant the garden in the backyard. You know what I'm saying? We need to get back to that shit. Because that technology is going to amplify our technology. You know what I'm saying? And 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 the superhero abilities is on its way, yo. That's why when I when I come close to this shit, I'll be buzzing real fast. And I got to keep a legitimate, a real legitimate distance away from the computer. Or else that motherfucking shit will start freezing and talking weird and voices and shit. I didn't shut down whole computers. I didn't upload it to shit and showed you how it went. You know what I'm saying? Because of the energy be buzzing so much. So, you know, I want to get into this lecture, but I wanted you to be mindful of how they're trying to get you into a vortex of their technology so that you won't focus on the real technology. That's why you think they coming out with Galaxy phones and shit. The Galaxy phone is the Galaxy right around December 21st, 2012. Um, the, the One of the things that they did was they came out with the Evo phones. Because they wanted to stop your evolution by getting you focused on their evolution, the evolution of technology versus nature. You know what I'm saying? And then they came out with the Galaxy phones because they wanted you to be so, so you know, concerned about this new Galaxy phone that was going to come out to where you weren't concerned about the planetary alignment and what was taking place in our galaxy, the the Milky Way galaxy, with the with the solstice sun, you know what I'm saying, entering into our galaxy, and, and all of this energy being exposed to the planet, and the old world's dying, and we're entering into the new worlds. They didn't want you to, 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 to come into this body of knowledge, so they, they get you trapped into the next technology thing. The technology wants to be your new god. And, it, and, and so you rely on the technology, you know what I'm saying, and the updates of these technologies to think for you. It was a time when you knew 50 numbers off of your mind, just like that. Now, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 and it was a time where you would just write that shit in your phone book, but you had it right here in your mind. You know what I'm saying? You knew about 50 numbers offhand, addresses, where they lived, their whole address, their whole name, their date of birth. And a phone number, you had it in your mind. But when they came out with the smartphone, you was thinking that the smoke the phone was smarter than you. So you put the mother you let the smartphone shit and the smart revolution manipulate you into putting all your contacts in the, and stored in the contact list. And because of the convenience, you stopped using your brain. 
and start using a machine and relying on the machine to think for you. Motherfucker, they got smart water that, that costs three dollars, four, five dollars for a little thing of smart water. That shit ain't smart. Why would I give you four dollars worth of my energy, five dollars worth of my energy for a motherfucking water water when I can go to the tap water and drink some regular tap water? You see what I'm saying? That shit ain't smart. You know what I'm saying? But you thinking that the water is smarter than you. So you let it outsmart you by giving you yo then giving them your five dollars worth of energy for a small ass bottle where you can go and get that shit out the sink and acrylyne that shit yourself using herbs or using your the power of your thought. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. That smart movement shit is dying down, it's killing your brain cells and killing off your intelligence. Fuck the whole technology revolution. The objective is to find a balance between technology and your technology, but to focus more on your shit because your shit is way more powerful than they shit. And they, they copied the blueprint from you and they used that to create new technologies. So, you know, um, I want to stimulate that thought before I get into this lecture. You know what I'm saying? So I write in my notes, we are now living in what five years ago you imagine as being a future of smart and intelligent technology 13 we are now in that future and in this day and age smart and and intelligent technology is not only compelling to have smart and intelligent technology is becoming significantly essential to mastering consumption but get this you are the smartest and most intelligent technology of all times 13 I write in my notes in this day and age information is traveling faster than the speed of light I write in my notes it's a new era and the scientists have now tapped into ether and the ethernet and fiber optics and the new brainwave is being created by this 13 conscious movement and that brain wave is called the five brain wave and in this day and time where scientists have now literally tapped into what is called the god particle or the elohim particle our original creator energy 13 things are moving at a rapid pace we are i write in my notes we are we are living in the most unique and most wonderful time of all times a time where instant and simultaneous manifestations occur a time where thoughts become physical for all those with the active imagination and an activated inner ukili melanin in this time space continuum dreams and fantasies become realities and the most intelligent minds become the creators of new timelines for new beings to come this is the moment you have all been waiting for. Welcome back to 13 Cosmic Law Astrology and the University of Cosmic Mysteries in Dark for some powerful information that I, that I have prepared for you in this lecture that I have entitled The Ethernet, The Power of Phi Telepathic Communication. 13. They got. So, um, I'm about to go to the board. I don't want to use the dry erase board. I'm going to use some of this paper right here. And I'm going to go to the board. And I'm about to go in on this shit. Because I told you in the video. I told you in this video. Uh, what's the video? I told you in the, in the past video. That a vortex of energy was going to open up. on hold on okay this year a board a portal of, of uh, opened up uh, a huge portal opened up the Stargate opened up in August of, 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 of um, 2013, and I have two videos. I have one is called Stargate's Opening, 
August 2013, Orion series, Pilates, Anunnaki. Um, it's called Stargates opening August 2013, Orion series, Palladians, Anunnaki, Premortal Dark Energy. It's almost over. I got that right there, and then I got an update on that. And it's a Palladian message. It's called Palladian message for the light workers. The Stargate is open. Three through three message. All right. And so I got those two videos that I put up. And I told you about the Stargate that opened up on August 2013. This is the update on that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to let you know about this, this technology and where we are right now in this time space continuum. All right. So let me start off by doing this right here. So I'm finna just show you, I'm finna just show you right quick that, you know, this is the, this is what we call the galactic core, which is a portal. This is a, this is what we call the galactic core, which is a portal. That that is right beyond the sun. All right. So this is our sun right here, and this is what is called the galactic uh the the galactic core, right? And then what's happening is that Ceres, which is the sun that feeds energy to our sun, Ceres is communicating energy through this galactic portal. And breathing in energy to our sun, and the sun is feeding all of the solar beings on Earth. This is what's taking place right now. This is what's taking place right now, especially now that this portal was opened up on December 21st, 2012. When we say that the world ended in a new world, yeah, it's a new world because this is positive energy, and this is what some call Oregon energy. It's coming down from Ceres to the planet Earth, from Ceres through the galactic core down to our sun and the sun is feeding you pumping off uv rays of this positive energy and its organ energy and feeding all of the solar beings all of us we all getting fed this shit all those who have a soul is being fed energy from the sun right here so that's what's taking place now let me go ahead and tell you this um i want to let you know that I'm going to show you because we visual beings. Even though we mental beings, we visual beings. Motherfuckers got to see. Write the vision down and make it plain. So, you know what I'm saying? You have this same galactic core right here. That's the galactic core of the portal. You know what I'm saying? That's right behind our sun. And, um, and so what's happening is that it's like the eye of Haru. We're now in the eye of, of Horus. We're in the eye of Horus. Or we're in the eye of Haru. And I don't know how to draw that shit. But this is what's happening. We're in the eye of Horus or the eye of Haru. This is the this is the galactic core right here. This is the galactic core, that portal behind our sun. And this is the sun series. Ceres is sending down all kind of information. Through this portal into our sun. We're in the eye of a rule right now. And what this means is that what this means is that we are now um we are now in the eye of Horus where you know uh where you're going to get your godhead. We're in a time where you're gonna get your godhead, you know what I'm saying? Where you know um where you are the deity or you are the Elohim or you are the all law, you're Allah. You know what I'm saying? You're Allah. You're the word. You're the you're the uh you are the most high. You are all law. That's what's happening right now. You are returning back to your original state of being, of, of being creator and not creation. And that's what the where we are right now, being in the eye of Horus or the eye of Faru, is is where you become the deity or you become the Elohim or you become Allah, all law. You become the law. <laughs> That's it. That's where we are right now. This means that there is a shifting of power and the and the evolution of man is occurring at a rapid pace. You know what I'm saying? Man is evolving from human to hybrid. We're better than, we're faster than, we're stronger than. 
Man is evolving from nigga to nega and from negas to all law or the most high. This is what's happening right now. You know what I'm saying? And the world is desiring not just positive energy, but Oregon energy. And that's exactly what's happening. As as I'm speaking to you right now, you know what I'm saying? The galactic core is, is pumping out all of this positive energy and all of this Oregon energy is coming down. You know what I'm saying? And sun showering all of these beings. It's sun showering what I call ether, ether bits of knowledge. All of that is coming down. It's all kind of bits of ether knowledge that's coming down. And, be, and, and it's hitting your head or it's hitting your eyes when you do your sun worshiping. You know what I'm saying? When you do your sun worshiping, not sun gazing, but sun worshiping. When you do your sun worshiping and, and, and you gazing at the sun and you're doing your sun worshiping, you're getting hit with all kind of downloads of information. But all kind of ether knowledge is coming down. I'm going to talk about this ethernet and I'm going to talk about this ether technology. I'm going to talk about how this ether shit is improving our human technology. All right. Yo, God-like technology. That's what's happening. You know what I'm saying? And so um, and so this is what's happening. All right. So so the sun is now uh, pulsating or pumping off. You know what I'm saying? A lot of positive energy and a lot of organ energy now. That's what's happening. You know what I'm saying? We are in the eye of Horus right now, galactically. You know what I'm saying? We're in the eye of Horus galactically. Now, I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you what's happening. On December 21st, 2012, this is what happened. Siri said, Yo, I'm finna start, I'm finna start taking care of you. So you have you have you have a portal that opened up, and this would be like this would be like series this would be like the sun so series is the sun that feeds our sun everybody know that you know what i'm saying so this would be series right here the sun and this would be our sun that would be our sun all right so basically this energy is going around like this this energy is going around like this. Now, Ceres is a feminine energy. Ceres is a feminine energy. Feminine. Feminine energy. Or female. Female. Female energy. All right? Ceres is a feminine energy or female energy. You got that? And our sun is a masculine energy. Is a masculine energy or or male energy you got that just because our son is a masculine energy or a male energy don't mean that you can't get feminine energy from it because I told you Ceres is feeding our son it's the sun behind our son and so you know uh, when 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 Ceres came online and said yo this portal was open up I'm gonna take advantage of this I'm gonna start feeding the sun she is, is putting out all kind of feminine energy through, you know what I'm saying, the galactic core, and that's coming to the earth. And so this is what's happening. She's communicating. She's sending this energy to our son, and our son is communicating back with Ceres, and it's going around like this. It's, just, it's going around like this, while at the same time, all this energy is happening. Ceres is taking care of our son. Ceres has always been taking care of our son. Everyone knows that, you know what I'm saying? And so this is what's happening. Now, all right, this energy vortex has opened up, and we're now in something that we call the helio cycle or the solar cycle, meaning the cycle of the sun. This is just it, that's what it is. That's where we are right now. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, um, all of this positive energy, this the the, the sun, the, the 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 universe said, "Yo, it's time out for just that negative shit." It's time to bring in a lot of positive energy. So you're going to start seeing a lot of positive energy. A lot of po we're just getting rid of all of this negative shit. And metaphysically, we're we're destroying all of the, the, the unwanted energy that's on the planet Earth. We're acrylining that shit. We're acrylining all of the unwanted energies and all of the motherfuckers that's down here that ain't got their shit together. We 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 banishing their ass. We just recycle their energy. They end up on a different plane of existence with a higher state of consciousness. You know what I'm saying? We banish in their ass. And we get re the earth right now. So the earth, the sun, 
our son is sending down all kinds of rays of just positive energy. Positive energy. Positive energy and etheric energy. Or organic, organ energy. This is what's happening. Our son is sending down all this positive energy, all this ether energy, or all this organ energy. Our son. You see what I'm saying? Our son. So so even all of the celestial giants and all of the, 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 the um terrestrial giants and all of the ultra terrestrial giants have all agreed that Earth needs a lot of positive energy. And ether etheric energy and organ energy all right and so that's what's taking place right now that's that's you're going to start seeing a lot of success stories and all kind of shit you know what i'm saying so um so this is what's happening now as this is happening as series who is that sun the series star constellation is the sun that's feeding our sun is a feminine energy feminine energy female energy is feeding our son, which is a masculine energy or a male energy. What's happening is, you see that? What's happening is, get to the next one. Women. Women are awakening. You got me? Women are awakening and demanding more they're demanding more they're waking up and they're demanding more they want to know what's going on women women are the first ones to get this download they been getting this download and they waking up and they demanding more not only not only are the solar women demanding more not only are the solar women demanding more Not only are they demanding more information, right? Galactic information or etheric information. Not only are they demanding this 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 galactic information or um, etheric uh, uh, information of self technology, because that's what it is. It all, all the information that they get from the galaxy, from the galactics, all of the information, all this etheric information, it's all about self-technology. Self-technology. You know what I'm saying? So women are awakening and demanding more. They're demanding more. Not only are they demanding more galactic information or etheric information of self-technology, but the women... are demanding the women are demanding more from the men they're demanding more from the men which is their sons we're the son we are the son which is their son so the women being the, the series the feminine energy and the male being the masculine energy, the, the masculine son. The, these women are waking up and they're demanding more information, more galactic information, more etheric information of self technology. And they coming online. And when they come online with this self technology, then they're demanding more from the men, from their sons. You know what I'm saying? And they're holding us to our shit. And they want us to step up to the plate and do what the fuck we need to get to do. And do what the fuck we need to be doing. So, you know, um, there which is the sun, you know what I'm saying? These solar men. Solar men. Men with soul. 13. So that's what's happening. That's what's happening. All right. Getting on to the next plane of existence. So now that you can see this, I'm going to draw a woman.
give her some titties. So I drew a woman, gave her some titties. I'm gonna put a halo or an afro around her head. You know what I'm saying? Put a halo or an afro around her head. You see what I'm saying? And um, this is what's happening with this woman. They're getting the first downloads from the sun, right? And they're waking up and they're demanding more, more information. And they're demanding, you know what I'm saying, not only information of self-technology, but they're coming online and they're demanding more from the men, their sons, all right? And, you know what I'm saying, um, as this is happening, right, they're... The sun is feeding this part of their body. Their solar plexus energy. Their Amin Ra is being fed. Amin Ra meaning, you know what I'm saying, inner sun or hidden sun. That's what Amin means. That was his, his sacred name, Hidden Sun, or Solar Plexus Chakra. Or Solar Plexus Chakra, all right? So all of this information is coming down, and they getting downloads from the sun, all kind of information, downloads from the sun, all kind of information, and it's Feeling up their solar plexus chakra, their Amin Ra, their inner sun, their hidden sun. You know what I'm saying? Another part of the woman's body that is being affected by this information is the womb. The womb. The womb of the woman. The womb of the woman. The womb of the woman is being affected by this information. You know what I'm saying? Which means divine change because she can only give birth to divine babies now. You see what I'm saying? That's why I told you all of the, the kids that come down from the solar beings, with solar moms, solar women, solar beings, they're going to be giving birth to nothing but Nephilims, Elohims, Messiahs, and all law. That's it. They're going to be giving birth to all law. If it's a girl, she's going to be all law. If it's a man, a, a, a boy, he's going to be all law, period. That's it. Ain't going to be no more motherfucking bullshit. Ain't going to be no more uh, kids coming out crazy as fucking all of that shit. These kids is coming. It's God's coming back. You know what I'm saying? That's it. The God's is coming back to the planet. That's what's happening. The woman's womb is being corrected right now. The woman's womb is being corrected and regulated by this energy right now. So not only is her is she getting downloads information and is her solar plexus energy is being filled up, Right? With this energy and this of, of self, this knowledge of self and, and this self technology. Um, and, but also her wound is being reconstructed. And this is becoming a divine temple. Her wound is becoming a divine temple. The woman's wound is becoming a divine temple. You know what I'm saying? This only going to give birth to the most consecrated child. Divine children. Period. You know what I'm saying? So not only is this being affected, but also... The heart chakra, all of the chakras, every chakra, especially the heart chakra is affected by this energy. The heart chakra is also affected by this energy. You see that? The first eye, the first eye is being affected by this, this energy. All of the chakras is being affected by this energy. So women are completely atomic right now. Those are the ones that's being affected by this energy first, the woman. All right. This is going on. This is going on. So what does this mean? You know what I'm saying? What is what does all of this mean? This means the solar energy is coming down to the planet Earth. Now look, check this out. Not only is this happening, but get this. Because as above, so below, right? So not only is all of this divine energy coming down from, from, from Ceres, but the Earth. This is why it's important to plant your feet in the ground. And, and hug trees and get back to nature and all of that shit. Going to the beach and come out, baptize yourself in seawater and all that shit. Now the earth is pumping up energy too. So, you know what I'm saying? You got the blades of grass right here. You got the sand right here. And then you got all kind of energy coming up from the earth. 
the energy grid of the earth is rising up. See that? So these are the blades of grass right here. This is the ground. But the energy is coming up. The energy is coming from the ground and filling the woman up. And that's taking place in her roots, her feet, all the glands in her body. But her root chakra, sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra, heart chakra, all this shit is coming online. So as above, so below. So the woman is the first one to get this information. She the first one that's going to be downloaded with this. She's the first one that is downloaded with this shit. This is going on right now. Now, the reason why they say they've always say women, women are more smarter than men. That's always been the shit. And we always know that women are smarter than men. We know that the woman came first and all that. We know that women are smarter than men. I'm going to tell you a quick joke. All right. Now, um, uh, this, this, you know, it's a joke about women. All right. They say, all right. So, so these, these, these men, they, uh, three, three travelers came upon a, a, a Jenny lamp and they, and they rubbed the genie lamp and the genie came out. And he said, yo, you, you freed me from my, from my, from my lamp. You know what I'm saying? I great, I grant each one of y'all one wish, if you, whatever you wish. So the first man, he said, yo, I wish to be the, the, the richest man in the world. So, you know what I'm saying? The genie said, Abracadabra, bam, it turned his ass into the richest man in the world. You know what I'm saying? He was he was Bill Gates or Steve Jobs or something, all right? And then the second dude said, yo, I wish to be the strongest man in the world. So the genie said, Abracadabra, bam, turned his ass into Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know what I'm saying? And then the third dude said, I want to be the richest man. I want to be the, all right, I seen that this shit work. I seen that you, you granted dude this wish. He wanted to be rich. You made him Bill Gates. The second dude wanted to be rich. I mean, wanted to be strong. You made him, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Incredible Hawk and shit, you know what I'm saying, or Arnold Schwarzenegger and shit. So he said, "Yo, I want to be the wisest man in the world, the wisest person in the world." So the genie said, "Are you sure about that?" And he said, "Yeah." He said, "Look, man, are you really sure that you want to be the wisest person in the world?" And he said, "Yeah, I want to be the wisest person in the world." So the genie said, "Abracadabra, bam!" and turned his ass into a woman. You know what I'm saying? Now. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but what I'm saying is that that's just to say that women are more smarter than men. Women are way more smarter than men, and, and, and that's the truth. They, they were the first vessels. They were the first creation, period. We came after the woman. So the woman is the first one that's going to get all of these super downloads. You know what I'm saying? She's going to get all of these super uploads and downloads of information, and as above, so below. She getting it from the earth, you know what I'm saying? And she getting it from the uh from the heavens, and that's what's taking place right now. Just to give you a visual. So moving on, all right. Moving on, right. You have series, which is right here. The series sun, which is right here. Then you have the. Um, galactic core which is right here right and then you have our sun you know what I'm saying Ra you have our sun which is right here that's Ra so you got Ceres there's just like way up there then you got the galactic core, which is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's like, you know, all this is is just a portal. You know what I'm saying? So you got Ceres who is feeding down information, all this positive and organ and etheric kind of information and energy down through this portal called the galactic core. Breathing all that energy down and through this portal, feeding the our sun this positive energy. You know what I'm saying? Our sun is being fed this positive energy or this organ or, organic energy, organ energy. You know what I'm saying? And then in return, our sun is putting off, you know, um, UV rays off the sun, and our sun is doing this. Our sun is feeding. All of the solar beings that's on the planet Earth, everyone who has soul, filling them up. And that's what's taking place. These all the solar beings. You know what I'm saying? So so let me give you a, a better graph and a better picture of what's going on. 
I do it again. You know what I'm saying? So what's happening is that Ceres, which is feminine energy, positive energy, organ energy, this ether information is sending down all this energy through the portal of the galactic core, breathing it down to the sun. And then the sun would take this information, put it with this information of positive energy, organ energy, you know what I'm saying? And um and ether energy information. And, and in return, the sun is feeding all of the solar beings that's on the planet Earth. You see that? All these little solar beings that's on the planet Earth, me, you, all of us, you know what I'm saying? We're all getting downloads of this kind of information. You see what I'm saying? And so the women was the first ones to actually receive the, the full benefits of this right here. You know what I'm saying? Of this type of uh of this type of knowledge and you see this all of the time you see it all of the time and, and I'm about to go in and I'm about to talk about this I'm about to talk about this because um this is a real life shit that, that happened to me the other day I was at my mom's house and shit and then my woman she kind of picked me up and then we went to uh went to um to, to Starbucks and we was finna go at Starbucks to do something I think she had to use the restroom I wanted to get some tea right and upload some shit right so um so uh she parked the car got out the car she unlocked the uh the, the trunk of the unicorn or the car i call it unicorn because i'm changing my reality you know what i'm saying but um she unlocked the trunk and i was getting the backpack that had my laptop in the trunk you know what i'm saying i was getting my backpack to have my laptop in the trunk and the thing was was that um the thing was, was while I was doing this, she was kind of like in the in the in the in the front of the car, popping the trunk. So when she was doing that, I was um I was I was in the back, and it was these two sexy ass black women. They was they was sexy, yo. You know, I'm talking about like super ass sexy. You know what I'm saying? And um they was walking up and shit, and I was and I was looking at her, and she was looking at me, and we was telepathically communicating with each other. We was on the Ethernet. Not the internet, but the ethernet. Dealing with ether. We were on the ethernet and communicating telepathically in our minds. We didn't say one word to each other. We was telepathically communicating with our minds. And the thing was, was that, you know what I'm saying? I was assessing her and she was assessing me. And we had a full conversation that dated back years. That just took place in just like a, a, a moment of time, like just a few minutes. The, the amount of time that it took her, they was walking out of a pizza place and she was holding a pizza in her hand and she was wearing some shorts with some flip flops. She had on a little tank top shirt, sexy as fuck, and she had her sister in the back. None of them spoke. We didn't say nothing at all, but we said everything. And what's understood don't need to be explained. You see what I'm saying? Everything understood don't need to be explained. That this dealing with this high melanated magic. What happened was when she was walking, I seen her, she seen me. I automatically knew that she was single. She automatically knew that I was looking for, you know what I'm saying, another woman. Then she automatically, when I looked at her and she looked at me, she knew that I was with another woman. I read her thoughts and, and we was communicating. She was like, yo, she was taking out my geometry. She was checking out my posture. She was checking out my geometry, like how my structure and everything, my geometry. You see what I'm saying? And, and she was like, is he gay? Nah, he ain't gay. I could, I could tell he ain't gay. I could see his structure. I could see how masculine he is. I could see how serious he is. You know what I'm saying? She was checking that out. And then she was checking out to see if I was compatible to her agenda. And the shit that she was going on in her life. She was going to school and she wanted to do hair and open up a beauty salon. All this shit I, I picked up telepathically and she was assessing me to see if I was compatible enough with her agenda to see if and then she said yeah he'll probably help me out and in her mind she determined that I was compatible to our agenda and then she glanced back at her sister and her sister was telepathically communicating with her and she glanced back asked to say are you getting what I'm getting to you know what I'm saying and her sister looked at her to say yeah I assessed that nigga so then basically she was looking for the approval of her sister to see if I was not only compatible to her but if I was going to be compatible to her sister as well, to her family. And that was to let me know that she was very family oriented. 
The thing was, was that she went back in my past. She was like, yo, this nigga a gangster, you know what I'm saying? But this nigga is changing his life now, you know what I'm saying? And he's very intelligent. However, he's holding on to this woman because she asked me when she looked in my eyes, she said, are you willing to let go of her? Because I don't share. That was the that was the ultimatum right there. And then I told her, I was like, nah, I ain't willing to let go of her because, you know, um, it ain't the time and season for that. And she was like, you know, she said, and I don't do one night stand, so we can't even have sex like that. You know what I'm saying? Even though it looked like you got some bomb ass dick. This was just what she was saying in my mind. And then I looked at her and I assessed her. I said, yo, she got a few tattoos. You know what I'm saying? She the type of woman that yell at your ass and shit like that. She probably, you know what I'm saying, she very feminine, but she got a, a masculine side to her too. You know what I'm saying? She she independent. She got her own. You know what I'm saying? She got her own car. Of course she had her own car. She was walking to her own car. She had her own spot and shit. You know what I'm saying? She was very close to her family. I peeped all of this shit. You know what I'm saying? She she was the type that didn't uh I peeped her sac sacred geometry too. I looked at her feminine. I was looking at her sacred geometry, so I was looking like, yo, she feminine, but she got a masculine side to her too because of the way she walked and then her posture and how her arm movements was and shit and how she was moving. I can tell that she was masculine too, and the masculine part of her was, was spun from, you know what I'm saying, from having to do everything by herself, not having a man and shit like that, going to school and being raised, her and her sister and shit. I could tell that she had a little ghetto in her. I even seen flashbacks and little templates of her getting in fights with bitches and yelling at bitches and shit over niggas and her being hurt and hurt by her asking me if I was willing to let go of this other girl, you know what I'm saying, was an indication that she didn't want that drama. She didn't want no motherfucking drama. I could tell that she didn't have no kids but that and that she wanted to have kids Five, uh, five years into her career, I assessed all of this shit. I picked up all of this shit. This is something called the etheric net, the ethernet. We were etherically communicating with each other, spiritually, telepathically communicating with each other. This is the technology that we got, yo. You know what I'm saying? To where I can look at a motherfucker and be like, yo, I'll fuck the shit out of you right now. And she can look at me and be like, yo, I'll fuck the shit out of you right now. We ain't got to say nothing. What's understood don't need to be explained. And then we end up in the motherfucking cuts fucking. You know what I'm saying? This is real shit. And this is going on all over the world. And that's because of this change that's taking place. What took place on December 21st, 2012. And this new world and this new energy that's opening up. And this portal that's going to be opened up for the next 10 years. The next 10 years is only the beginning of this shit. And then this is another thing. You, uh, because a lot of people was asking me. They'd be like, yo, what, what you got to say about these women, man? When you speak to them, they don't even say nothing back to you. And I'll be telling these niggas. I'll be like, yo. You don't understand, bro, that these women is on a whole different hype now. Nigga, you out there, you like, yo, I got to damn it, call her ass a bitch in order to get a response from her. I'm like, yo, you ain't even got to go there. You, 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 you wasting your time when you up there and you, and you like, hey, yo, what's up, babe? What you doing? Hey, I see you. You wasting your time trying to get at them because, nigga, they been seeing your ass from, from down the block. They seen you, assessed you. And, 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 and determined that you weren't compatible to their agenda. So they moving on. Assessing the next situation. Nigga, they ain't even got to talk to you. Or even look at you. And that's what's happening. Women is assessing niggas from down the block. Scoped your ass. And, 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 and assessed you. And to see if it was some compatibility. And she was checking out your sacred geometry. Your posture. Your clothing. She already gave you the up and down. So when, so when you looking at like, damn, these bitches don't even give us the up and down no more. It was a time when a woman to talk to you, even if she had a man, she'd stop and say, yeah, I got a man, you know what I'm saying, whoop, whoop, and then still look you up and down. They don't even give you the up and down no more. They don't even speak to you or don't even look at you. It's because they already did that, and they ain't wasting their time. These women is moving on. They not wasting no motherfucking time. They on a different brainwave than your ass is. You on that low vibrational shit. That's why you missing the mark and you can't get it. These women is on a whole different brainwave than your ass. They on some shit called the five brainwave, and we using a different kind of communication, a different kind of internet. It's called the etheric net. You know what I'm saying? Where we telepathically communicate with each other, and motherfucker, if it's understood, it don't need to be spoken on. This is what's going on. This is literally what's going on. And this is why the women don't even say shit to niggas these days. It's because they already looked at you, and in their mind, they're like, yo, that nigga gay. Seeing your whole lifestyle, seeing everything that you've done in your whole life. From the time when you was getting bullied and picked on when you was a little kid, to the time your ass got fondled by your cousins, to the time when your ass was raped, and all of this shit. They peeped your shit to the time when you was in the cut sleeping with niggas. You know what I'm saying? And they like, yo, I don't want to fuck with that nigga. That nigga gay. 
She peeped your sacred geometry, your posture, all that shit from back then. From way back there in the cuts. Nigga, before you seen her, she seen you. And said, yo, that nigga gay. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool on him. And moved on to the next shit. See, women is fast. They don't motherfucking fuck around. I was talking to this woman the other day. I said, yo. I said, man, I want to have a baby with you. You know what I'm saying? She was like, you know, um, ain't your woman pregnant right now? How how, pre how how many months is she? She was fast. You know what I'm saying? When I was I stuttered, I was like, oh, I think she like four or five months. Already she determined, yo, if you don't know the exact date and time, nigga, then you can't be my baby mama. That's what she was saying. You know what I'm saying? When she asked me, motherfucker, she was determining, I have a baby with this nigga if he can tell me the exact date and time. And when I stuttered and said, I think she like four or five months, she automatically said, yo, nigga, you don't love me. You don't, you must don't love her enough to, not, to, to, to keep track of. And if you ain't loving her enough, Nigga, you ain't gonna love me enough to want to have a baby by me. You know what I'm saying? All of this shit was going on. She was telling... Women is fast. These motherfuckers be thinking fast, yo. Period. They look at your shoes and, and determine if they want to be with you or not. Nigga, they look at your shoes and see how much mouths you put on your shoes, nigga. To determine if they want to fuck with you or not. This shit is going on. You know what I'm saying? This is called the etheric net. This shit is going on. It's been going on. You just waking up into what's going on. These women is on a different brainwave. And when you and when you when you raise your vibrations up, you'll begin to see what I'm talking about, yo. You 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 would tap into this brainwave. It's called the five brainwave. And we theoretically communicate with each other telepathically. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going on. So so you know, um, I shared that shit. I don't want to keep badgering you. I can I can hit you with all kind of information. On that, on that, on a different, uh, different topic. Now I'm gonna talk about, you know, what I'm saying the nine ways of dark in consciousness. You know, what I'm saying now we're experiencing, um, for we're out of solar energy. So for the next, for this age of Aquarius, you know, what I'm saying, uh, the uh, age of Aquarius. I told you what, what, what is the age? You hear, you know, what I'm saying I ain't seen you in ages, or you know, what I'm saying I ain't heard that shit in ages, ages. You hear ages all the time, but what is an age? Have you ever thought to ask yourself what the fuck is an age? What is an age? You know what I'm saying? Well, an age is two thousand one hundred and sixty-six thousand one hundred two thousand one hundred and sixty-six years in space on Earth, which ain't nothing but a motherfucking few minutes in space. You know what I'm saying? But um, and that's an age. So we successfully ended out of the uh, exited out of the age of of Pisces. And we've entered into the age of Aquarius. We're no longer dealing with Yang energy, solar energy. We're now only dealing with premortal dark energy, this feminine energy, the water element, the energy of the original creators, the, the energy of the original goddesses and gods, immortals and nephilims. That's what we're dealing with right now. This premortal dark energy. And a lot of you who are who are who have wakened up and, be, and, and you're on your awakened path, you're just experiencing the first wave of consciousness. This first wave of consciousness is still taking off. This is only the first wave of consciousness. In the first wave of consciousness, you had, you know what I'm saying, the rise of the 13th son and the teachings of the 13th son, the rise of Bobby Hemet and the teachings of Bobby Hemet, even though Bobby Hemet and uh, Dr. Phil Valentine been doing it for 20 years, that's just the first wave. Um, what the, they shit now is the first wave. What you hearing now, they're a whole new person. And this is all of the first wave shit. The 13th son is the first wave. He was he was starting you off on the first wave. Then you got some of the beings who came through the first wave, like, you know, um, Z Infinity first wave of consciousness, of this dark year consciousness. Astro Sosin, the first wave of this dark year consciousness. Lord Netter, first wave of this dark year consciousness. And Digitus Nagar, first wave of this uh of this uh of this dark year consciousness. Um 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 uh motherfucking uh Motherfucking Maria Thogrenades, first wave of this dark yin consciousness. Dragon Bomb Z, first wave of this dark yin consciousness. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, 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 first wave of this dark yin consciousness. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, Dr. Nabaru, first wave of this dark yin consciousness. You know what I'm saying? Um, even though he was already positioned, but he was first wave of this dark yin consciousness. Motherfucking, uh, 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 u
first wave of this dark in consciousness. You know what I'm saying? Mo Rhymes, first wave. Way, but it's dark in consciousness. Divine One Denny, first way, but it's uh, 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 dark in consciousness. You know what I'm saying? All of these different beings, I can keep going on, on and on and on. Sean Powell, uh, uh, on and on and on. First way, but it's dark in consciousness. Who are waking up and going into teaching mode. You know what I'm saying? They just didn't wake up, but they went into teaching mode. So that we're dealing with the first wave of consciousness. You know what I'm saying? And the in the first wave of this nine nine waves of dark in consciousness, the first wave is all about awakening. And going into teaching mode. See, see, once you awaken and automatically go into dark and, and you and you go into teaching mode after you awaken and you jump right into this shit and you go into teaching mode, that's what's gonna get you ready for the for riding the second wave of consciousness. You gotta go into teaching mode. You know what I'm saying? In the Bible it says, freely as as you have been given, freely so shall you give unto others. So it's like I filled your cup up, motherfucker, pass it around. That's what's taking place with the consciousness. You got a lot of motherfuckers who filled up into their cup, run it over. And it ain't no more motherfucking shit that we can put in your cup. We've been filling your ass up. You filled up. You've been getting shit from us, from me, the 13th son, Dr. Phil Valentine, Bobby Emmett, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Brother Azazel, you've been getting shit from motherfucking... Uh, uh, you've been getting shit from us who's been riding, who's been the, the riding the first wave of consciousness, who didn't come through the first wave of consciousness, who been riding this shit. You've been getting the information, so your cup is filled up, but it's running over. It's because you're being stingy, nigga. You gotta pass that cup around. You gotta give everybody a drink. In other words, nigga, you gotta say, "Huh, you wanna taste this? This is what's going on." You gotta, you gotta start going into teaching mode. You got to switch modes from being a student of consciousness to being a teacher of consciousness, although you're still a student of consciousness. You got to switch modes. You know what I'm saying? And go into teaching mode on AIs. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get the, the benefits of the second wave of consciousness. You know what I'm saying? Because the second wave is coming. We're at the end, the tail end of the first wave of this consciousness and we're gonna go into the second wave of consciousness and that's what the shit is yo that second wave so the first wave of consciousness you know what i'm saying um how you how you get ready to ride the second wave it's like you on your motherfucking you like you it's like you on your motherfucking uh your motherfucking uh yo your surfboard you paddling out to the motherfucking wave you want to ride the wave you don't want to get washed up in the wave you want to ride that wave so how you catch the second wave and ride the second wave is that when you get conscious, you get on your awakening path doing the first wave of consciousness, you automatically go into teaching mode. Even if you don't know that much, you automatically go into teaching mode. And that's how you get positioned to get to catch the wave of the second wave of consciousness. Because the second wave of consciousness is coming. So you got the first wave of consciousness that's you awakening, that's you learning what's going on, finding out sacred knowledge, sacred knowledge of sacred geometry, knowledge of numerology going from zero to nine. You know what I'm saying? Knowledge of astrology, knowledge of astronomy, knowledge of self. All of this technology and shit that you finding out superhero abilities, you learning about superhero abilities, and you're you're striving towards developing your abilities. You're you're developing your abilities of teleportation, of flying, of running at the speed of light, of superhero strength. You de you're working on developing your superhero abilities, not just being conscious, but you working on developing your superhero abilities. That's what the first wave is about, nigga. This shit ain't about just being conscious and, and eating healthy. And all of that. This is about developing your superhero abilities. Getting off of their technology. You the greatest technology of all times. Period. That's what this shit is about. It's about jumping into this five brainwave. Getting off of the better brainwave and the gamma brainwaves. And get, getting into this five brainwave that I be telling you about all of the time. And, and jumping into this ethernet. Fuck the internet. We can communicate telepathically. And we're doing it now. But it's only a few of us. Those who have been getting all of these downloads. You know what I'm saying? Those who've been getting all of these downloads. We the motherfuckers this 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 getting the benefit of this in this new this in this new motherfucking etheric this ethernet with those who've been getting these downloads. You know what I'm saying? These women and these men who've been getting these downloads. Playing your feet in the ground is positioning you. All those who's been getting these downloads. That's who that's who's you know what I'm saying who's in this ethernet right now. We in the Ethernet, a spiritual communication. We don't even use they shit. Our technology is way better than they shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going on right now. This is what's going on right now. You know what I'm saying? So if you're working on developing your superhero abilities, 
while you're on teaching mode, then you're going to be ready to ride the second wave. The second wave deals with superhero abilities and the setting up and the establishment of the spiritual government. We are the new spiritual government. I told you all of the time, I destroyed the holograms of the police. I destroyed the holograms of the military. I destroyed the holograms of, you know, um, the government. We're the government. Self-govern. Govern yourself. Police yourself, motherfucker. That's it. Do right. And, and, it, and it won't be nobody to uh, lose you to come and chastise your ass because you're doing wrong. You're supposed to become all law. You're supposed to become Allah. All law. You do what is right. You become all law. Period. You know what I'm saying? You are all law. It's in the stars. You know what I'm saying? I gave you I gave you the motherfucking shit. I gave you the science about the age of the Aquarius and all of that in that other video. What's the video I did? I did it. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. What the fuck am I doing? I gave you the science. I gave you the science already in that video. Um. Shit, man, what? I gave you the signs. If you if you didn't watch the video, you need to go ahead and watch this video because I gave you the signs about how all this shit changed and how motherfucking how it's on us now. It's on us. We the spiritual government. So the second wave of consciousness deals with you getting your superhero abilities. All of the shit that you've been working on right now. Uh, all of your shit that you've been developing, you you supposed to be developing your ability to to walk on water or, or astral project. You're supposed to be striving to get into your astral body. You're supposed to be striving to get into your light body to not only activate your merkaba but jump in that motherfucker and live only in your in your merkaba. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's what you're striving for. You're striving to develop your your ability of teleportation, which is auxiliary, eating right, eating raw, eating healthy, using your supplements, taking your blue green algae, your chlorina, your uh your your spirulina and and the maca root, and you know you you probably went through the full body detox by Tahuti, you know what I'm saying at D Health Store and all of that. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and you changing your biology so that the, the thousands of atoms that's inside of your body that's left inside of your body, all of the neurons, protons, electrons, atoms, particles, the God particle, the Elohim particle, the Nephilim particle, the Nectar particle, all of these particles, you know what I'm saying, are, are becoming accelerated. They're accelerating, which is, per, which is evolving you from your human body to your light body, your Merkaba. And once you get in your Merkaba, that's when you teleport. So you're working on your ability of teleportation right now. You're supposed to be working on your ability of running at the speed of light. I gave you the video how to run at the speed of light, how to teleport, how to shape shift, how to how to fly. I gave you all of these videos, how to telepathically communicate. I gave you all of the science on this shit. Uh, watch this video. It's called More Science, Astrology, Age of Aquarius, Shifting of Power, Christ Returns, Math. Mathematics, Dark Lord Strikes Again, one one one. Watch that video, yo. That shit is important right there, right there for you to for you to get that body of knowledge, so that you will find out what's going on in the stars. Because as above, so below. You're the all law. So the second wave of consciousness deals with those who are in teaching mode right now, not just students of consciousness, but who are in teaching mode. Astro Soul in the Great, Z Infinity, Lord Nectar. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I Ayola. Uh, 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 you know, all those who are in teaching mode, those are going to be the ones that's going to catch the first, the second wave and going to be riding the wave, not just in the second wave, but riding that wave. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have the spirit, the superhero abilities. We're going to have our superhero abilities when the second wave of consciousness comes. This, the second wave of yin energy, when it comes down from the stars, you know what I'm saying? And begins to sour down on us. We those who have been working on activating these programs of flying and teleporting and all of that shit, we go motherfucking be doing that. And then when we're doing it, we we're becoming the spiritual government, where it's now our reciprocal responsibility to police the earth and make sure that we're because we're friends of the earth. We're 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 we we are earth and we gotta protect the earth. So that's we're gonna be the ones that's policing the earth and making sure that. Motherfuckers ain't doing bad shit in the world. You know what I'm saying? Evil, uh, uh, wrong shit in the world. And it's a spiritual government. So all of this shit that you that you read about with the superheroes and the X book, uh, uh, X Men, we're the X Men. They was prophesying us. They was talking about us. You know what I'm saying? And we're here now. You know what I'm saying? And we're working on our uh, our abilities, and, and and we're gonna get our abilities. 
You know what I'm saying? And, and we're going to set up a spiritual government. So that's the second wave of consciousness. And all those who are not in teaching mode or not working on developing their superhero abilities, they're just going to get a little bit more power. Like, you know, um, their consciousness is going to be expanded on self and self technology and how to manipulate the forces of, of nature to use, you know, uh, use paganism or, or shamanism or witchcraft or druidry, all that that energy is going to be reactivated and their and their powers is going to be amplified, crystallized and they're going to be energized and they're going to have more power dealing with the nature, manipulating forces of nature. All those who are just students of the second wave of consciousness and not leaders or writers of the second wave of, of, of this uh, dark yin consciousness. The third wave of dark yin consciousness deals with the evolution of of all things you know what i'm saying and then us being the spiritual beings now or the spiritual government overseeing the evolution of all things so the evolution of robots the ele the evolution of 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 certain kind of creatures that's down here and certain kind of aliens that got trapped down here and lower densities their evolution them going from gray aliens to being human again them going from you know what i'm saying human to being um um hybrid and not necessarily superhero but hybrid and them going from hybrid to being superhero. You know what I'm saying? So it's the evolution of all things. Where robots stop thinking, being commanded, and they start thinking for themselves. And us being the spiritual leaders now of the spiritual government, assisting in this shifting, helping them shift. That's what the third wave of dark yin consciousness is all about. The fourth wave of dark yin consciousness is self-technology of all those who made that evolutionary shift. All right? The fifth wave of 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 dark yin consciousness deals with you know um creation is going to be a creation boom where we are creating more we're in creation mode now and we're creating universes different universes and shit i tell you all the time i broadcast from the it verse which is past the omniverse you know what i'm saying uh, um it's it's in the outer verse you know what i'm saying but if you look at it in a different kind of polarity it's in the inner verse you know what i'm saying um, but it's, 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 it's a verse all by itself. It's called the it verse. And that's where I am. I'm in the it verse. That's where I'm in. I made it past the omniverse. You know what I'm saying? When you talk about the universe, you're still talking about some shit that you are united with that you need to get up. You got to detach from even the universe. We're collectively a part of the multiverse, the multiple universes, but motherfucker, you got to collect, you got to get away from the universe. You got to detach from that. That's what the detachment is all about. Detaching yourself from the galactic federation of light. Detaching yourself, detaching yourself from, from this universe and creating your own verse. You know what I'm saying? When you talk about dark archons and light archons, and when you talk about ultra terrestrial beings, motherfucker, we sit back and we create universes. And we and we argue over who got the best creation and shit. We sit back and motherfucking create planes of existence. I, astral planes for motherfuckers to travel on i got a video create your own worlds create your own paradigms create your own civilizations create your own astral plane and i go in on a video and i tell you how to create your world and how to think how to how you can you know uh navigate higher states of consciousness you might want to check out that video it's powerful and it's and it's jam-packed with all kind of information you know what i'm saying so you know um so that's what the the the, the, the fifth wave of you know this um this this uh the this dark yin consciousness is all about the fifth wave is that we're gonna go in creation mode and it's gonna be like a a big creation boom where motherfuckers is creating universes like yo you know what I'm saying your universe ain't better than my universe your verse ain't better than my verse okay well then I'm gonna create this is because we gonna rediscover we uh, by that time we gonna have so much self mastery to where we're gonna know instantly how to create whole entire verses. And put all kind of civilization in that motherfucker and create magical elements. Well, when we portal down, motherfucker, we walk amongst our universe and shit and all of the people worship us. We portal through the sun or something where all of the trees talk to us and shit and all of the river talk to us. And, you know what I'm saying? And all of the beings that we create and you know, we're going to go in creation. It's going to be a creation boom and we're going to go in creation mode. You know what I'm saying? New earths, new worlds, new galaxies, new universes, new verses, period. Inner verses, outer verses. Omniverse is all the, uh, the expansion of all things. That's what the fifth uh, wave of dark yin consciousness is all about. It's about the expansion of all things. And then the sixth wave of this dark yin consciousness deals with love and letting go of polarity. You know what I'm saying? Polarity agreements. 
letting go of polarity agreements, letting go of polarity, period. Letting go of duality and polarity and all of that shit. That's what the, the sixth wave of, of dark yin consciousness is all about. It's about complete love. Absolute complete love. Just just entire complete love. You know what I'm saying? Love in its entirety. You know what I'm saying? Unconditional love. Just love. You know what I'm saying? And everything that love entails. And then letting go of all polarity agreements and contracts and letting go of polarity and duality completely it's just it's completely letting go and just being in complete love and that's what the the ninth wave of dark yin consciousness is all about for everyone it's just about experiencing complete love you know what i'm saying the seventh wave of dark yin consciousness deals with you know um it deals with um the seventh wave of dark yin consciousness deals with unity pure unity and paradise this is like heaven after we went through you know this is like our heaven this is like our evolution where where we're back in heaven we're back in paradise we're back in that place that's built up in your mind where there's crystal houses and and all kind of streets of gold and rupees and emeralds and shit where you think that the extraterrestrial beings are or the most high gods are that's where you're going to be in the in the in the seventh um a, a wave of this dark yin consciousness you're going to be in that built up place of pure unity there's going to be pure unity there and it's going to be a, a pure paradise because by that time we fought and, and and we fought against all of the evil what we thought was uh, unwanted energy or evil forces and one by that time we taught and, and and helped other people make their assisted them in their evolution process we're going through the process of being god of being all law in order to be God, you got to do all of the things that God does. You got to save humanity. You got to create humanity, save humanity, assist humanity in evolution, assist robots in their evolution, assist everything in evolution. You got to you got to go and uh, teach them self technology, protect them as a spiritual government. You know what I'm saying? And um, in order to become all law, you got to go and teach them all going through the creation boom, which is the fifth wave of this dark yin consciousness and shit. Then you got to experience love and let it go of the polarity and shit and uh, us against, yo, my, my universe is better than your universe shit. And then pure love, pure unity, paradise. That's what the seven dark, the, the seven uh, wave of dark yin consciousness is about. And then the eighth wave of dark yin consciousness after we experience you know what I'm saying? After we experience complete paradise in heaven, you know what I'm saying? And, and us being the complete all law by that time, we've proven to ourselves that, yo, we're God. We're the most high God. And by the time that we've proven to ourselves that we're the most high God and we're living in these heavenly realms that we've built up and all of this shit, then the eighth wave of, of, of dark yin consciousness deals with stretching, stretching this portal of consciousness open to the, to the lower dimensions to the lower dimensions of the of the universes and verses that we created and that we overseen in their evolutionary process is stretching this portal of consciousness open to them. Opening up this portal, stretching it so that this portal of consciousness opens up to them and they go through their first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth wave, teaching them, going in teaching mode and teaching these other worlds our way and our governing, you know what I'm saying? their lives and overseeing their their evolution of going through the first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth wave and it's and once that once we experience that then we then we go through the ninth wave which is you know um the ninth wave is where we just rest we just we just rest and we watch we watch our our expansion and we just rest and, and at that point we can celebrate that's our celebration. We celebrated because we completed what we set out. We completed. We finalized our agreement. Our our contracts is complete. That's everything we wanted to see. Everything we wanted to endure. Everything that we wanted to witness. We're complete all off. And we've completed the the civilizations under us. All of the worlds that we created in universes. We've completed them. We successfully worked them through the nine waves of consciousness. So when they make it to the nine, there's nothing but celebration. You see what I'm saying? So that's what we're experiencing right now for this 2,166 years of uh, of, of age age of, of Aquarius, you know what I'm saying? And all of this time that we're dealing with um, this yin energy, this premortal dark energy. It's the nine waves of consciousness. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's taking place right now. So, um, so hopefully, you know what I'm saying, this wonderful and amazing channeled information, you know what I'm saying, registers in your mind. It resonates. You find some synchronicity to this. You know what I'm saying? Because it is what it is. It is what it is, motherfucker. And this is what it is. 
You know what I'm saying? It just it is what it is. So go and hug your trees, plant your feet in the ground, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and strive to get on this brainwave. I told you all the time how brainwaves are created. Brainwaves are created by individual building blocks called neurons. You know what I'm saying? That's what creates brainwaves. I have a whole I have so many ser sermons and lectures on brainwaves that if you've been following me, you know what time it is by now. You know what I'm saying? So so get on this five brainwave. All of the, the the thing is that all of the consciousness that I've been putting in your minds is already navigating you into this this five brain wave, and some of you have already experienced little glimpses, little glimpses, snippet, tidbits of the etheric uh, the etheric uh, net, the ethernet that I'm talking about. You already experienced some of this telepathic communication. You've already begun to experience this shit. You just didn't know what it was. Now you know what it is. I'm giving you clarity. And the more you detach from this shit, the more this shit will open up to you. So it is what it is, yo. 13 love. You know what I'm saying? I'm the Dark Lord. Yukili Osai. Anu Rafa Elohim. Mira Mord El Shaddai. Many names, many vibrational waves and frequencies. Whatever I attach my I am to, that's what I am. I am broadcasting to you on behalf of 13 Cosmic Law, Astrology, and the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Dark. You know what I'm saying? Dark Lord, ruler of them dark worlds. Elohim, motherfucker, I be spitting fur. Yo, they got serpent eyes turned up, motherfucker. 111-222-333-444-555-666-777-888-999-000. You know what I'm saying? 13 love. Yo, to all my peeps, man. 13 love to my soul group. You know what I'm saying? 13 love to the Elohims. 13 love to the Nephilim. 13 love to the Messiahs. 13 love to all law. Most high. All law, you know what I'm saying? 13 to this this nine waves of yin consciousness, you know what I'm saying? Of, of this nine waves of, of dark yin consciousness. 13 to, you know what I'm saying? This feminine energy, man. 13 to Siri star system. 13 to, to the galactic core, that portal. 13 to the sun. 13 to uh, Gaia Earth. 13, yo. 13 love, yo. 13, yo. You know what I'm saying? Radios turned up. Radios turned on. You know what I'm saying?